Hi guys, and welcome back. Uh, here we're going to talk about atmospheric perspective. The ability to create the illusion of spatial depth and distance is an important skill for any artist. To achieve this effect in a sketch, artists commonly employ two distinct types of perspective, linear and atmospheric. Linear perspective is concerned with how distance affects the size of objects, causing them to appear smaller as they recede into the distance. In contrast, atmospheric perspective, also known as aerial perspective, refers to the impact of atmospheric conditions on our perception of both colour and tone. Distant objects often lack detail and appear to take on a bluish hue. Take note of these atmospheric effects and incorporate them intentionally into your drawings to create a more convincing sense of spatial depth. The foreground. In most compositions, the foreground is at the bottom of the page and is closest to the viewer. Here the colours are at their strongest, in both tone and hue. I try to create accents with significant contrast, where the darkest notes sit against the lightest, to pull them forward on the page. I use the darkest shadows and include the highest level of detail. Middle ground. Shadows and dark coloured objects appear lighter here than in the foreground. In the shadows, I use a mid-tone value. Background. Here the tonal values are at their lightest and closest in contrast. Objects in this zone have less detail and melt into the neighbouring forms. <laughs> 